another trick I can give you to maximize traps development, which is also applicable to building up your calves, by the way. I'm not a big fan of, I don't train calves myself, always had great calves, and I find that calves have very little trainability. But if there's one trick that you can use to make your calves grow, it's that same trick that I use for shrug. Now, in both cases, you have a muscle or, or a movement pattern that has a very short range of motion. Now, I really believe that to maximize muscle growth, a muscle has to be under tension for a certain period of time for each set. Some people claim it's 40 to 60 seconds. Some say that it's as low as 20 seconds will do. But regardless of the actual number, the take home message is that you need a muscle to be under load for at least 20 and maybe more seconds to make that muscle grow as much as possible. Now the thing with the traps and the calves is that since the range of motion is so short, if I only use a certain rep number, maybe a set will not give me that minimal uh, time under tension. I think that's the reason why for years people have rec recommended doing sets of 20, 25, 30 reps on calves because that's the only thing that worked for them. It's not because that number is magical, it's because that number was required to load that muscle for long enough in a set to trigger growth. Now, if I'm doing shrugs, for example, here, and shrugs, and I'm doing 10 reps, regular reps, then my 10 reps might last 10 to 15 seconds, which is not long enough to develop maximum growth. Now, since the range of motion is so short, one way you have of increasing time under tension is to include an isometric hold at the top of the movement. So I'm doing my shrugs here, and I squeeze two seconds. Squeeze two seconds. Here. Boom. So, for, so if I do a set of 10 reps, then I will be under tension for at least 30 seconds, maybe 40. So I'm in the proper zone. I did not increase the rep number. I simply had a time under tension by using a load, a, a, pause, a, a pause under load. And the further benefit is that it improves mind-muscle connection. During an isometric action, you have a better perception, feeling of that muscle, and you can better focus on making that muscle contract. So I'm learning to use that muscle a lot better. You can also recruit more muscle fibers during a maximum isometric action. So it will take those fibers, they're turned on, then you can continue fatiguing and stimulating them during the set. So it's both a way to enhance the duration of, of, of under load, but also to practice contracting that muscle. The same thing can be used for calves. Now, the second portion of that tip would be to avoid utilizing the stretch reflex at the bottom. So here, so when I'm doing my shrugs, I hold two seconds and I reach the stretch position. I pause for a second, two seconds, hold two seconds, so I don't use that bounce here because the range of motion is so short that if I use the rebound from the bottom, maybe half of the range of motion now is not effective because the stretch reflex does most of the work, the muscle doing less work. Since the range of motion is so short, that pr probably decreases the effectiveness of the exercise twofold. So if I want to maximize calves or traps growth, pause for a second or two in the bottom position and squeeze for two seconds at the top. My best tip for traps and cats.